Yo, what's up guys, NY Gaming HD or Kev, whichever one you want to call me. And you know, as always, I start off the intro of the video with an apology, so here it is. <sighs> guys, I'm sorry for being inactive last weekend. I'm, I'm in a private school, which means, you know, I get a lot of work, tests every day, and all that bullshit. Uh, I have to start going back to recording a video a day earlier, again, instead of recording and uploading at the same day, so that's that. But since my last video, we gained more than 10 subs, which is cool. So, hello to all of you. I hope you enjoy my support. I mean, I hope you enjoy my channel and content. And I hope you guys show me the support I need. So, today is obviously Tuesday. And it's kind of late. I'm sorry. I was doing stuff. I, I know. I'm always saying I'm sorry to you guys. But I'm actually really sorry. I'm sorry. I've been doing stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shit. So, today is obviously Tuesday, which means you guys get a commentary. Yay! And I wanted to share with you guys the first time I experienced smoking weed, which was way back in seventh grade. I'll admit, I, 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 I still do it now. It definitely opens up my mind and creativity, and it helps me with my shyness because, you know, I'm usually a quiet person. But, you know, once I take that puff, I'm, I'm as open as Michelle Obama's legs when, when she found out Obama got four more years. Some of you know what I mean. So, some of you will get what I just said. So it was back in seventh grade. We had finals at school, and me and my two white friends. I'm not being racist. I'm just giving you a description of them, so you can picture. You can picture what I'm saying in your head. So, so me and my two friends, Anthony and Vincent, we chilled at our neighborhood park. Now, Anthony was actually a hardcore stoner. I mean, every day this guy would be in the school stoned, and this was in seventh grade, which is crazy. And he apparently, you know, obviously had some weed on him, and he asked us if we wanted to smoke. Now, we all agreed because it was finally summer, we live in a boring neighborhood, and, you know, kids are curious, and we always want to do new things. So we said, fuck it, fuck it. And Anthony pops out a, he pops out one of those cheap tin lunch boxes, you know, that you could buy from, like, Staples. He opens it, and then, bam, you have your typical pothead materials. You have visine, that's for your eyes to, to relieve the redness, a bowl rolling papers, some gum, some Altoids, and some weed. Like, believe me when I said he was hardcore, so... So after he opened it up, we snuck off into the woods. We didn't do anything gay, so don't worry. So we snuck off in the woods at the park where we usually... Where usually everyone, you know, goes and smokes and chills, or they get head from the neighborhood hoe. And then we just all, we just all start smoking. So during that event, everything for me went silent. Like, all I hear is my heartbeat. I was on a trip, like, after my first hit, which... It, it doesn't usually happen, but that's how that went. And then we finished, like, all the marijuana. And then we headed straight for the swings. Now, before I fin before I continue this, don't, guys, don't don't go on the swings. Don't. It's, it's, you're going to regret it. The worst idea ever. It was the worst idea ever, actually, because uh, one of my friends, Vincent, which was the other friend I was with, he decided to stand up on the swings and try to see who jumped the farthest. And as retarded as that idea sounded, we all decided to do it. And my foot got caught in uh, one of those chains because it was like chain swings. And then the next thing I know, I had a mouthful of wood chips. And you guys know me. I had to I had to play it cool and act like it didn't hurt. But the worst part was my foot was still caught in the chain. And somehow it dragged me in the dirt and it was the worst because everybody and their mother was just staring at me and asking, Oh, are you okay? You all right? Blah, blah, blah. You okay, honey? You want to get up? And you know, I'm not going to lie. I was going to cry, but you know, the weed kicked in and totally turned everything into laughter. So you have three boys in the middle of the park and, and little, uh, blah, 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 I can't even speak in the middle of the park, just dying of laughter. One on the swings, the other on the bench. And then you have me laughing with dirt and mud stuck in my teeth, which is not, not, not funny at all. So after that, you know, I had to hide my embarrassment. So I ended up walking home. And by the time I got down the street, the whole world was spinning and it was just, it was just crazy. Like my whole vision was blurry and everything. Everything was spinning, like my eyes were rotating around in my sock. It's like when you go on that, that spinning thing at the park, and then you just open your eyes wide and you just look and everything's spinning. That's how my eyes were. Like, I don't even know why, but they were just spinning. And it was the worst experience ever walking home that day. But overall, it was pretty fun. You know, the sad part of the story was I woke up the next morning, my vision was still spinning, 
and then I ended up with a 103 degree fever. But the good thing is, the good thing is, I didn't get caught, baby. Yeah. So guys, please don't do drugs, or else you're gonna end up with mud in your teeth, bruised ankle, embarrassment, and a fever. So I hope you all enjoyed this commentary. If you did, please let's try and get this video to 10 likes or maybe even more like last video because that would be great and if you're new to the channel subscribe or else you're missing out and i'll see you guys on thursday okay bye don't do drugs friendly uav inbound